bottom. <laughs> What's gonna happen? What's about to happen? Nobody knows. Cause there's a wolf among us. I am the wolf among us. <laughs> what is to happen to me? If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. Oh, I remember saying that. that. That was me. I did say that. How much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the. I don't have a family, so I wouldn't you know. Must take a shark with him. You open the arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby, and thanks for covering for me last time too. Bigby. How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. You really think this man murdered these women? That is the definition of a man who murdered one woman. That was loud! Oh shit, it's really loud. But, you know, just mm, bloody take, Mary. Okay? take Crane. Well, this is going to be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. In with the new, that's the queen. exactly like I say. That's me! Oh man, could, I don't know, maybe not so loud train, hmm? Oh, this is interesting. I don't recall this. See you around. That's Bloody Mary. Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. Ooh. Didn't we He'll already go okay, through this? Hmm? He'll be okay. His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Oh. Oh, yes, no. What's up? Ooh. I agree. I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. Hmm. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, Big B, don't move. <laughs> Jesus. Doctor. Arm. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Sounds like a bad idea, Doc, but I'll do it. I'll do it anyways, Doc. Oh, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Oh! Did I fix it? I don't think I fixed it. Oh, I don't think I fixed it at all. <laughs> Oh, 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 and now it's fixed. <laughs> Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This is the job. Indeed. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Doc, didn't anyone tell you you'd make a pretty good mayor? <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but 
Perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with it. You tell a doc. At least until he's out of the Oh, doc, she's making bad puns right now. And I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, I'd uh, I prefer you don't watch this anyway. We'll be done in a moment. Just please give us the time. No, I don't want to say you're not helping, but um, staring does make me a bit nervous. Colin, leave him be. Oh my God, it's Colin. finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. <laughs> Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. We would both agree to that. <laughs> <sighs> there, all done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me. And well, this time. But I love our visits. This time doc. is no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one Dude. more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Mm. That would be rough, Doc. Miss White. It's belly You'll there. Be fine for light duty. Better or if worse. You can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been <clears throat> an unusual couple of days. I know, but please don't give him the excuse. <laughs> His body will eventually give out. Take care of him. Please. Don't listen to him, Snow. You know, he's a good doctor, but I know my body best. Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. <laughs> Anyways, I sensed sarcasm. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? <laughs> well, what's between them two? Uh, who who boned the other in this relationship? I'm quite curious. Eh, DLC, DLC maybe. Yeah, yeah. I'd love some DLC with Colin, Colin and Swinesies. So, how do you um feel? It's big B Snow. From a one to ten. Oh yeah. Hell, I seen him take worse. As good as can be expected, I think. So, not well then. Ooh. I'm glad you're not dead. That makes the three of us. <laughs> you, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died. Oh, it happened. You know, it happened. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. The capital H. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... I don't know. He was just... awful. Snow, I'd never leave you. Aww. That's sweet of me to yeah, say. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. Hopefully. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? Oh, bad stuff, Colin. And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? The crooked man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder him. It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. Yeah, uh... Thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Even Thanks. if you did fuck you. You're not pissed <laughs> that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. But it's not like we had a strong choice in the matter. Of course I'm pissed, but what's done is done. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is 
just what does the crooked man want out of this? Who knows? He was just a I don't know the guy. Lone shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? Crane was a puppet, and the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fable Town. That but then what do prostitutes have to do sense. with this? Lily and Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. That said, what? <laughs> contradictory. war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. Mm, yeah, we just yeah. haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. Oh, who's our? We need to do things the right way. The right I mean, way. The right way. I do question that as well, Colin. I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. I, I'm doing pretty good. So, starting now... We do everything cut and dried, by the book, Ooh. straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of... Sure, you're not. Oh. <clears throat> not have to sign with my boys what this time. Last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. Uh, it we need can't really help that. To fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. I'm sure from your vantage point, it's extraordinarily easy to judge me. Big B. But you sit behind a desk. Ooh, sure, I, I didn't say that. Only tonight did you see what it's like to be pushed into a corner all the time just for doing your job. You think I don't know what it's like to have my life in danger? To not be pushed to do things? I know what it's like. And I know what it's like to lie to yourself. To justify what you've done. So don't talk to me like I'm other people. Mm. Look, Bigby, I care mm. about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. <laughs> but this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. I well, agree. At least someone understands. Oh, shit! <laughs> With the boys! He'll get the job done. With the Just boys! I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. That's fine, that's fine. And this situation has to... Bo what situation? With my All boy! All starting today have to go and stay at the front. Oh, give me a fucking break! Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody oh. out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. It's not the end of the world. That's not gonna happen. Oh! Oh! It will. Oh, I'm deteriorating this relationship. You really expect to round up every talking cat? With the boys. There's not that many stragglers. With the boys. the one or two you make excuses for. No, there's plenty, mate. There's plenty. With the boys. Residents. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let. Colin, I really stood up with Thanks. the boys there. Guess Just saying. Waiting in your office right now. Narissa. Narissa. Who's Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Oh, yes. Narissa. Apparently, Lola. she told Buffy that she has something she needs to talk to you about, but that oh. she'll only tell you. Mm -hmm. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the uh, disenfranchised. <laughs> something about your prickly demeanor attracts. Oh, you sly dog, Colin. You're something. buttering me up. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. Maybe. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffy. Well, maybe she's just a pawn in this other contrusion. And I should probably.
probably change out of these clothes. That would be a good idea, Snow. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let me know when you're done with Marissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Eh, hey, she's at it. Huh? You're not really going to send me to the farm, are you? I, I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang I'm going to say Snow's going to know. Snow will come around. She's just, you know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Fair oh, enough. Okay, I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, baby. I am what you call a neutral party. I like to take both sides into consideration. <laughs> Unless it's for the boys. Did you see that? That was a little lore. With the big boat. And the lady who lives in the big boat. Mm, bow, bow, bow. Mm, bow, bow, bow. Screech, 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 screech. <laughs> Directed by Camaro. At a cafe, he wrote the wolf of among us. As I walk at the street, there's David Bogan and Kim Leon. <laughs> and there's a circle in the middle of the road. Wolf of Wall Street, a pussy ball in sheep's clothing. I thought in sheep's clothing was the last. Hi, Sheriff. Oh, hello, Governor. Hello. Oh, Have a seat. I don't fully trust Narissa, to be honest. I think Narissa's is playing double side. Or some some whatnot. Well, actually, mm, she might be. I don't know. She was at the funeral though, which makes me feel like she wouldn't betray her girls. But I I don't know. Um, are you okay? <sighs> you didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around if I came by. Well, let's just say I've been better. That's about right. <coughs> Coffin, bit bleedy here, but I'll live. Huff and puffs. <laughs> Not many people smoke those. Shore it. Shore it. Oh, yeah, I see. Shore, because ocean. <laughs> Thanks. You can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. I'll have so that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time. But I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room with the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me and sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just... Go ahead. It might work. Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. I mean, you sent me there. Was there someone else you wanted me to find there? These lips are sealed. Mm. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter, and I, oh. I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Oh, shit. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? 
Are my friends in danger? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. Oh, did I read it wrong? Fuck. I need you to know. I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm not mad. I'm, I'm just... Sorry for oh. wasting your time. <laughs> I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Fate 412. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? So how do we cut the ribbon? Can't we just take the ribbon off? No, these lips are sealed. What? You can't. Just stay back. Oh, that's insta-kill. If I killed her there, man. Slow down. It's all right gonna do anything please don't oh no don't oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry i didn't mean to do that okay i get it so the ribbons if you take them off oh sorry i Wish I could do something. Ooh, no, I should have comforted her, right? If anyone finds out I came here, that's probably snow. Listen, probably sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? What's I could be that? in a lot of trouble. I won't tell anyone. Don't worry. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, you don't have to go. That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. We're fucked. That's probably what they're thinking right now. <laughs> we need to solve this before something else happens. Well, you said Who it. Knows what? You said it. Oh, yeah. I have other matters to attend to. Bye, Snow. Nice, nice, nice catching up. I guess. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep... I know these guys. I'm not going to be a dick about it. But my God, was it funny when I hit the door on that what little girl? Who wasn't a little girl, well, but really an old witch. Going around knocking on doors? 
Stirring the pot. Stirring Joseph. at me. Said you wanted to talk. Not me. Listen, I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? We've all had. I don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Well, can I? So surprises are fun. <laughs> Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. No. Oh. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? B. Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Big B. Well, come on, guys. I'm, Hi, she's not cheating on you, man. For just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. <laughs> so much drama. Oh my God, guys. Jeez, you're making me blush. <laughs> I guess I really do have the smallest of pockets. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck is this shit? What did I do? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. It was one secret. Do you want to keep fighting about that, or do you want to try to sort this out? Mm. All I'm saying is Talk about living in the past. Didn't have to do they still have them. that rose? And answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this. Dude, why the fuck would you do that? <laughs> That's like you're like a child, man. Why would you do that? Knock shit over, man. Okay, I waited. Oh my god. Woo! Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. That is true. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Bees! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out from the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. So... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate. It's very possible I could. And I want to see if he can help mm. us out. <laughs> being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. You would be. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances we're just looking for a little peace of mind in this you think you're the only ones in danger if you have info on that crooked bastard i need to hear it otherwise oh. i've got better things to do no please don't then tell me what the fuck is going on sorry i didn't mean to raise my voice look around you this isn't the way people short on cash live look we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle Okay? Yeah, so no, I could tell. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. Well, There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like me? Well, not alone. <laughs> You'd be not alone, is what I would say. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, let me just step. Uh... A day at the beach? Skiing afloat? <laughs> and we can't come to the Are phone right now, that? so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Ah, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. Really? I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. Fine. I'm sure you can handle whatever this is on your own. I'll see you later. Please, Bigby. Wait. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the crooked man's people trying to collect, and we aren't safe. 
even in our own home. We owe some money. I already knew that. Finally. <laughs> All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Guys, it's gonna be bad either way. You might as well just tell me. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's slimy. In a word. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. Ooh, I saw it I the other day too. Hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. What the hell are you doing hanging out at a place like the Lucky Pawn anyway? Sometimes fables sell things they brought from the homelands. Things you can't find anywhere else. You do know there's a difference between pawning something and selling it, don't you? I... I know that. You're buying a piece of someone else's misery. With money you don't have. Well, that's over now. Probably. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. <sighs> Guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. Sort's a really broad man there. term. Maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find mm. me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. <laughs> Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop the cut above mm -hmm. it's the place on tubman street yeah. same block as the baker and the uh -huh. candlestick maker. well i've been delivering packages from there for a while uh. the thing is it's for the crooked man and i don't think it's me in the packages y you gotta understand i needed work you have to believe us we didn't think it would get like this well what are you delivering what's going on there how does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called me. <laughs> he had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. So when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. My pal? She said I was reliable. She liked that. And we flirted and <laughs> to pick up. It's still not enough. I don't want beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know. I I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big. I wouldn't. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? Well, <sighs> if this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. <sighs> Out of consideration to you. For being honest for me eventually, I will go to the butcher shop. You know that butcher shop? Just to be above? a nice There's guy about it. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, because if it's meat, I'd like to. 
there's maybe nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. I know a guy at the Lucky Wait, Pawn. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? Well, you're trying to me. Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. Oh, you want we would really well, appreciate man. it. What do you say? Can you help us out? Leave it on a quiet. <laughs> like, mm, I don't know. Will I? Will I? I love the mystery. It really shows I haven't made up my... There was a wolf. That is the achievement I've gotten. Sorry, we're clown. Keep talking. <laughs> Be an asshole. No one's here. I'm gonna keep fucking smoking it. Look at the cold drinks. They're so very cold. Kielbasa. The farm. Oh my god, are they killing people uh, from the empty. farm? Either he's got no. Or he doesn't have any. Oh my god, they're killing people from the farm. Right. Oh no, bro. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? God, they're totally killing people from the farm. That that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before. That antique green leaves. I did. What's this? Bigby Wolf? Well, this yeah, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? <laughs> you interested in a particular? Oh, I'm interested. I am so interested. So very interested. I heard, little buddy said uh, something was see. cracking down here. Believe it or we not. Have in stock. Oh let's, my uh, God. Let's see what we got here. I'd love to check out back on special New York no, Strip. No, no, no. Oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin. Ribs. What's close? going on? I want to know going exactly what's going on here. We sell meat. Mm. Did you want to buy something? I <laughs> won't. <laughs> what you see is what you get. There's a button right just there. Meat. You don't find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here, so oh. you don't mind if I take a look around. Yeah, there's nothing I here. Yes, not. I'm just gonna look around. Sheriff, I. Did you hear that? I, I think oh, I my. did. Uh, oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. He I, I just gotta go check on that. He clicked don't the button. Anywhere. I saw I'll you like do it. I saw him sir. click the button. I just have to go see. He's probably running. Well, this is terrifying. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. How did he know I opened the door? Is he like spooing on me? Buddy's spooing on me. He sees me when I'm sleeping, you know? Except I'm not sleeping, I'm awake, but it's the same, same, same point. I'm coming to help What's you, man. Problem? I'm just coming back to give you a, a lot of meat. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. I'm just doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? I should have said it. Oh, you got to be kidding me. You're gonna kill me. 
<laughs> she is gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. What are you hiding behind that door? Huh? Please, please, Big me. Please don't. Big me. What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. <sighs> you want Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. How does he I'm what? Dead. Remember. Either way. You are probably he said to me. Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got down a hook in the deep freeze. They? You mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. Fuck! The Crooked Man's people. Oh, Jersey man. Devil, crew. D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. There would be the Dude, death. is he's gonna like fucking hit me from beyond? Oh, Johan, do not fuck me up. Do not fuck me over, man. What the fuck? Johan, you gonna lock me in here? Cause I feel like that's something you might do, Johan. <sighs> fuck. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here. Oh, it was fuck, like I was this. right. They're taking from the farm. They're taking Morning. from the farm and making some glamours. Glamours here and there, because that's how you do it. That's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. I get why you flipped that switch, but you had a choice. You could have told me. If you hadn't warned them, I might be dealing with your problem right now. Told you? Huh. You come in here making trouble for me, but you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Oh, I didn't Where know. Were you when they took this place I didn't from know. I didn't know, Jahan. Jahan, I didn't know. It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. I needed your help. Uh, no, so this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Oh, Jahan. We're suspect, aren't we, Jahan? Chains? Who's getting chained up here? Johan you knows. can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Sniff it. Come on, sniff it, Bigsby. You know you want to sniff the blood, see where it's from. Oh, what are they good whiff here and there. You, you want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Uh, I like nasty smells. <laughs> Wait a second. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-green leaf and... Any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Don't you see what's going on here? With all these raw materials, it looks like 
he could process him into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs. The gear. The slave labor to work it. So these must be the orders. What's OD? Oh, fuck. He's got his hooks into everybody. It's pretty clear how. Oh, yeah? How? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. What's the 13th floor? This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. How the hell did all this happen? I didn't see it. Didn't stop it. This is a whole lot bigger than we thought. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. Johan, are you gonna fuck me over? Fucker, Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, if finding the crooked man is so fucking important, why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Can't you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? Do it right from your living room. Smoking cigarettes with your feet up. Fucking broken. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. Oh my god, he's the crooked man. Lucky pawn. They probably took Crane. Oh my too. god, Johan's lucky Johan's man. the crooked man. If I can find the mirror piece there. Oh my god. I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. No, Johan. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? You're the crooked man, Johan. Do you really think this is gonna be all right? Of all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon, his symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy. You, Johan. Thinking <laughs> about Big B Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this: What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. There's no way to get out of this. You won't have to worry, Johan. Johan, I'm so certain you're the crooked man. I'm claiming this Thank right you. now, Johan. Thank you, Chef. Oh, Johan. I'm watching you, Johan. Johan, you sus motherfucker. I'm pretty sure it's Joe. Jersey, don't don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just That's gonna my fuck Jack? What the fuck is going on? But you I'm uh, the guy who just gonna you know, know, shit in order, you know. and that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place? Ooh, Jack ran. I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was st so get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Uh oh. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dick. Oh, whoa. You're gonna... Oh. You piece of shit. Oh. oh. I'm gonna. I'm refraining, Jersey. Fuck that. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them. Did hookers? you just touch me? I'm done chasing your tail. Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery Fucking Park. Trust me. You do not want to go there. And what if I do? I'm going to Back break off, you. Dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You cock bitch. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Oh fuck! A little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? 
You ain't so tough. You know what? I'm just gonna handle you myself. You fucking mother... Did that hurt? What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve. The Jersey Devil. It kinda does look like a Jersey Devil. <laughs> if you've ever been to Jersey before you'd know what I mean. <laughs> I don't even know what I mean. I should probably do something. Hey! It's the axe. Too bad you could protect those whores. Ooh. That's a bit much, Go mate. On. Try to stop me. Oh, fucking stay down. There she is. Help me, Woody. Be a pal and help. Oh. Come on, just another hit. Oh, fuck me. Dodge that, dodge this. Oh, that's your eyes in the temple. A hit right there. Another dodge to the cranium. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I broke it. Oh, and it's broken. Oh, that's really broken, man. Back you, guy. Ooh. Uh, Woody, I could really appreciate some help right now if you could do something! Oh, fuck. Woody, I could really use some help, buddy. Uh, maybe grab your axe a bit quicker. Hey, asshole. I found her. He's probably still alive. He's alive. Oh, what are we doing? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Well. Ah, useless bitch, Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. Oh! The next I hope he remembers better that. Be something useful. You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Why just tell me this? Are you trying to rush me out of here? I'm trying to make a point, dog. You can have all the information you fucking want. It's not gonna help you when the time comes. And that time, it's a coming. Well, he did make a point. Just go on. Get Crane shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. Let's start from the bottom. No time for travelers, Jacks, huh? Got a fucking thing. He won't be needing this anymore. I'm gonna take the money, man. <laughs> Look at my face when I took it. <laughs> Thinks he's like, eh, no one's gonna notice. Sick piece of. I'll pocket that too. The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Well, I'll kind of take the gun too. Big, big, big. No, we're not gonna take. We're not gonna take the gun. Hey, huh? Sheriff. Yeah. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. 
Oh, they're dead. It's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. I'll hear him. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Because he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Out of smoke. That's what they say. You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with. The <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something we can do about it. We can get the fucker who did it. Is that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. I'm gonna fuck up a lot of shit. Hey, Woody. Yeah? I'll see you around. Hey boss man, you know, I saw you working at the secretary place, you have a lot of old jobs, don't you? Evening. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? She's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah! Oh. There's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> Just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. Buffkin, I <sighs> swear to God if you fuck Finally. <laughs> Things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. Crooked Man has something on everybody. It wasn't just Beauty and the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pond. And he's got fables enslaved at the butcher shop, making black market magic. This is worse than we could Wow, was I allowed to say all that in front now. of, you know, the other guys? We got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, mm. I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Buffkin? What the fuck's that mean, Buffkin? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Pompous ass. Why'd you put the hurt on Flycatcher? Were you hiding something down at the Tweedles? Or was it just for fun? He worked for them, didn't he? Couldn't be sure that oh, he was <laughs> Flycatcher. I didn't want him in a and then again, Flycatcher couldn't be in the crooked mouth. to make the search a speedy one. Surely you of all people can't fault me for getting overzealous in the process. I don't buy it. Dude, I'm sus of everyone now, man. Flycatcher's probably crooked talk man. About this when I'm done. I do so enjoy our talks. I'll wait with bated breath. 
I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So uh, this uh, process can be a little touchy. Mary. I found it in Crane's coat. The last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had ah, some. Yes, Miss White was oh, yeah, because Mary in the mirror. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with you. Yeah. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. No problem. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Oh. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. Touche, touche. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. What if it might be Buffkin's the crooked man. I really don't know who the crooked man is anymore. What do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. <laughs> it's funny watching this. We're those trying two to catch a murderer, and they're they're over there bickering about bureaucracy. Ah, let him. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay With him. the boys. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news oh, and be done with it. Come on, man. Hey, 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 guess what, guess what? I have a lot of cash on me right now. Toad, come here. I thought I made myself clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Well, you did cause what damage brings I here, did, so dude. maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Before we get into any of that, what do you know about the crooked man? Don't try to change <laughs> the subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping maw in my wall. Any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. I need it, Big B. I'll give you money, man. I don't give a shit. Here, Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as It anybody. does, Toad. You, no problem. Use it to get glamoured, Toad. I've got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. Farm is always on there. We the go, table. Bixby. There we go. But of course, you have to understand. Toad's a happy fella. <laughs> he looks too happy. <laughs> Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Mm -hmm. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not. For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You I did know that as well as anyone. Look, I'll take care of it later. I told him we'd work it out so he'd get out of our hair. We don't have time to worry about that right now. Bigby, what did I tell you? He's unglamoured oh, when this whole thing is over. I'll send him to the farm. No questions asked, okay? I warned him. I did warn him. Fine. So I don't feel bad Deal about it. it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. What would make a person do that? If there's one thing I figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. He does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, the chains. Wait, you said he gave the to Maybe the Faith and Lily weren't doing you what they were told. Thinks a secret. Maybe they're just trying to leave. Idiot. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. Oh my God, thank God, I could break it again. I have to say, I have been better, but thanks for putting me back together. Smooth, I'm sorry, Johnny. I just, I have to Smooth know. rhyme, Johnny. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Uh -uh. 
Snow. I know you've got your reasons, but he's not our top concern right now. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone is watching. What? Just... Happened. We pointed you in the wrong direction. We looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have <laughs> to feel the pain she brings. Uh, that's some so, edge. Let's not do that again, okay? <laughs> when the mirror stops rhyming, you know shit got real. Right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the crooked man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Uh, mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? Not bad, Bigsby, not bad. That's pretty good. I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. It's changing colors. The door, it moves. Yeah. Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get- We're in New York City! <laughs> Wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle oh, this a certain way. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour. Depending on how the wind blows, I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fable Town government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right oh, way. Oh, I'll be I have fair. to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Hey, if I can do it, I'll do it. I got no other but choice. man's got a door that goes everywhere, you know what I'm saying? I can't make promises. I cannot make promises at all. But soon he mended his evil ways. I bet it's Flycatcher. It's probably Flycatcher. Oh, Mr. Flycatcher. That's it, all right. That's increpid. Oh my god, it's fly slaughter. I know it's you, fly slaughter. Well, Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off tiny. Tiny Tim. I have to admit. When they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you weren't here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know. They said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. Fine, right. lead on. God, you, you, you're the crooked man. <laughs> Tim is probably the crooked man. Thanks for understanding. It's always the guy you don't expect. Here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. Tim, how can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not... He's not as bad as you think. He doesn't treat me like some 
broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. <sighs> if you're here, it can't be good. Maybe. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. I'm trying, mate. I mean, you know, guy. Uh... Some of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office, but he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Hold on. I'll wait for him. Thanks. <laughs> you mind some kind of a fucking joke to me? What did I tell you? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Mate, tell me who the I fuck is back there. So I, I don't exactly problem. know. I, I just you mind the door. Worry. The Get boss is around. there. I might that cringe much. for him. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. I'd say he'd be more useful killed, skinned, and made into a rug for me to wipe his feet. <laughs> he's right. He was fine in playing the smooth and things over, but this guy off his leash is a whole other barrel of crap that I don't want to deal with. So that's it then. Let's switch the dogs of war. Hmm? None of you can see fit to stare him down. The best outcome you can picture is having him dead. <laughs> I like to think a little bigger than that. You're not frightened, are you? Yeah, it's easy for you to say. He didn't pull the claws out we on you. We will tame the rope, and I pray me will eventually be of more use to us alive. Well, I don't like it. It's not for you to like. I'll listen. Excuse me, but I have a job to do. Oh, well, Tim, I just wanted to listen in to what they were saying. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Oh my god, it's Flycatcher. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. <laughs> what the fuck happened to him? <laughs> Tim, wait, hold on. I think we gotta talk a little bit about that. What, what just happened to Tim? You know, I'm starting to suspect uh, you, you got a little bit more going on than we really you know. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. What happened? <laughs> oh, I feel like I feel like something happened, and all were happy. Well, that's the end of it, guys. That's the end of it. I've heard oh. stories about you. Hello, Mary. In Hello. the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they scream! The wolf is coming, and they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <gasps> oh well. You know, I bet... We would be swell as a bell. Oh, okay. You did not try to remove. Wait, you did not try to remove the room? Jesus Christ. I did attempt to, actually, and then I just stopped. You went to the cut first. Did you? No, I didn't send him that. How did you respond? Oh, I fucking lit a ciggy. That's what I did, mate. Jesus. Ooh, I can't wait to see the last episode. Cryo. 
And that is a good night indeed.